Hey yo, folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V as France. And, of course, it's not, I suppose, a surprise that we're number one in population, but what astounds me, actually, is that we're not number one in crop yield. We've got Lake Victoria, we've got the Hanging Gardens, and yet Asuria is actually producing much more food than we are, which I guess explains their large population. However, we are number one in terms of manufactured goods, because we're putting out way more hammers than most people. Which, of course, is helping us in the big wonder race. Uh, GNP, land, third overall, not so bad. We don't know who's in number one in those, interestingly enough. We are seventh in soldiers, which should not surprise us. But what actually surprises me is it turns out Morocco is number one. Uh, I'm surprised it's not the Zulus, but I'm willing to bet that they're sort of neck and neck. Approval rating, 84% of our people like what we're doing, which is actually pretty good for me. And we are number one in literacy. Now, I think people are pretty close. The average is 28%. I believe this has to do with uh, how far you've progressed in the tech tree or something of that uh, nature. So I don't think that the uh, literacy, the tech situation uh, represents us being like miles ahead of everyone, but I think it's pretty good overall. Now, before we continue, I want to address one thing. Uh, in the last video, I was not sure if, okay, so, Let's backtrack over here. For the flourishing of the arts, aesthetic, social policy, which increases culture by 33% in all cities that have a world wonder, I wasn't sure if national wonders counted or if it was only the actual world unique world wonders. It does say world wonder as opposed to just wonder. So anyway, I went on uh, Reddit and asked the question there and actually people were not 100% sure until someone went and actually did a test where he got that social policy. He had one city with world wonders and one city with just national wonders and the city with national wonders indeed did not get the 33% boost. So I'm very happy we got that cleared up, uh, which means first of all, my guilds, um, I, uh, I don't necessarily, I can't just build the writer's guild in Orleans to get the uh, the 33 percent bonus so we will actually have to go and get some world wonders going around here now ideally they will not be wonders with theming bonuses uh, or at least slots for theming bonuses in uh, in the touristy stuff because I believe it's only pairs that gets the the double profit from that so but everything else is fair game in fact we could have built nothing of them over there uh, I think yeah, we almost have a great engineer, actually, which means we're going to be in a really good situation to rush a wonder in a place. In fact, I might I might rush the first one in Lyon, because I think Orléans will actually have a fairly decent production base on its own, so it's going to be able to sort of build a wonder naturally. So we'll save the great engineer for that. Anyway, that is, I think, enough setup. We are number one in score. I am still paranoid that uh, the Zulus could have run through Assyria, but it looks like they've maybe finally put up a wall over here. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't want horses, but I would like cotton. How does that work? Yeah. In fact, I should be talking to more people and setting up more deals. An unmet player has lost its capital. Really? There are a lot of warmongers going on in here. And for once, it's not me. It's not me, although I really think that there's going to be some kerfuffling going on on the continent here. If we can get our musketeers and then go on a little bit of a tear through our continent just to solidify our position, it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Okay, we got a worker over here. <clears throat> um, how far are we from getting the bananas going on? Why are you going this way? Why are you not getting bananas? Um, do I spend the money on the tile? I think yes. Very strange, though. They're really wanting the fish, is what I have to assume. Hmm. I think it might actually be time to start automating my people. Um, although they'll probably just end up building in a bunch of stupid places where I'm going to want chateaus later on, aren't they? <clears throat> yeah. So let's go and actually hook up all this extra ivory over here um, and see if we can do some trading. Yeah, you've got nothing. You've got gold per turn. I could sell you the horses, actually, since I actually plan on... I don't plan on using them. Yeah, okay, we can do the open borders thing and all that. Sure. Sounds good, buddy. Put the horses to good use. Just hold these guys off a little bit longer, because... I, did they not have the smallest army a second ago? Soldiers, yeah. Assyria has the smallest army in the game. Although, looking at the numbers... These are not huge numbers. Yes, this is twice as much, but I, and we are early enough that I guess each unit of military doesn't accumulate a lot of soldier counts. 
But I don't think they're actually quite as far behind and I was, as I was assuming. Ahmad, um, oh, so that's Morocco. Ooh, whose score has just gone up. So Morocco controls two players at Capitals. Interesting. Although they're not going to win that way because they're not going to take my capital at any point. Although they do have a lot of soldiers. A lot of warmongers in this game, it seems like. I have no idea what Morocco's personality is like, actually. Uh, friendship with Assyria needs to be renewed. Yeah, why not? Let's keep that going. Friendship, yes, let us work together. Zulus have denounced Morocco. Well, that's interesting. Most literate people. Okay, number of technologies. We are ahead. Shaka does have 24, as well as these guys. Morocco is behind, which is probably because they're uh, building so many military units. They're sort of behind on other things, but that's okay. All right, great jet engineer. So, again, we don't have a wonder to build. Right now, we're still building Notre Dame, which I'm sure we will get there just fine. Um, do I want Angkor Wat? Acquiring new tiles, meh. Great engineer points, meh, we can live without that. Oxford University. See, it's got slots for uh, riding, uh, which means we will want to build that in Paris. So I think the engineer is just going to camp out over here in Lyon for a little while, and we'll get back to yeah. you. I suppose we could do a uh, train improvement, but I think we'd rather just rush him. Sorry this caused a divide. Oh, they, they made peace. Open borders is good. We're too far away for that to actually do anything at this point. And apparently we can trade. We can trade resources. Is there any chance we actually have a land connection secretly going on here? I really need to get some ships out so I can explore. Maybe I'll actually pop out a ship in uh, Orléans here. I think that's probably a good idea. Although, I don't remember if I've actually ever gone and picked up the... Uh, the better sailing text that will let me go through the ocean. I mean, at this point, frankly, just exploring the coast would be valuable. Oh uh, yeah, I don't have compass yet. And definitely not astronomy. Well, I suppose building a trireme would be cheap, right? Yeah, two turns, and I think... And hell, we still need workboats, but... One trireme and maybe a couple of workboats. I think workboats is sort of my plan when I stopped yesterday. Oh, and you. That's right. Yeah, you were still on your move here to meet some neighbors. Okay. La Venta. Ah, Faith. All right. And you have a mission? No. I'm sure some will pop very soon. Seeks investors. And we're losing our grip down here, which I don't like. I would actually like... <clears throat> I think I'm going to spend some money here to keep Kuala Lumpur as an ally and keep them locked in rather than pick up a new one right away. Especially since we're getting the bonus gold and faith and all that. It's going to crank them out just a little bit because we're inside the territory. I think they'll get cranky. Yeah, there we go. Trespassing. Uh, trireme is done. Um, we might be able to set up some trade routes too. Okay, we're gonna we need a couple of workboats though. Get the food going, and then maybe the trade route thing. Workshop is done in Lyon. So we do want a lot of little things. <clears throat> the market will be, or sorry, the lighthouse will be really good. Um, Although, less value up until we actually improve the fish trade. Still, actually, it's probably worth starting that. Obviously, we need the amphitheater and all kinds of things, but I think we'll go ahead for the lighthouse at this point. The faster growth will help the cities, well, grow. All right, let's, um, let's pop out just over here. Okay. Just gonna check out this little island chain to see if there's anything out and about there. Not that a damn. More faith, more happiness. Very good. So we don't have like the crazy faith generation, but it's going okay. Oh, we can do research agreements too. Yes. Very valuable. James Watt, you're gonna stay parked over here in Lyon. You know, I could just rush Angkor Watt just to have the wonder here. But I, I mean, I'm far away from having the. Um, the flourishing of the arts, social policy anyway. 
the cheap uh, tile grabbing is nice, but I don't think it's critical. It seems like a low priority wonder. Not that I know what on my list is a high priority wonder at this point. Um, Ironworks, that's a national wonder, so that doesn't really apply. Mm. <clears throat> I don't think the Himeji Castle is critical to us either. The Globe Theater is good, although that's, again, just writing slots. There we go. Leaning Tower of Pisa. This is a wonder that would actually be very good for us and works in a foreign territory. Um, it'll pick up chivalry, which we could actually, we would actually like for the Chateau. At some point, we really are going to have to um, grab the compass, though. But I think it makes sense to go for a printing press right now. Or gunpowder, although I don't think we're on the verge of war, so you know what? We can afford to wait for that a little bit longer. Okay, I like this idea. Plus, we can finally start building some freaking trading posts. Choosing production. So, let's get the Writer's Guild online over here. We need universities, we need all kinds of things, but if we get the Writer's Guild, I mean, we need the great people, it's going to be fine. And we know we're going to build the guild here, so. I don't remember, you may only have to be able to build one guild per city. <clears throat> might be something like that, so we might end up building them all over the place anyway. But we may as well build the first one in Paris. I mean, we've got the uh, bonus to our great people production here as well. Ooh, ooh. Uh, it's a little scary. Oh, interesting. Where can I steal a unit from? <clears throat> this right here, Archer. You know what you're going to do? You're going to get an upgrade, except we don't have any money. I'm going to upgrade you next turn. I have a definite lack of military units, don't I? Let's pull you back <clears throat> into Paris, because we do have oligarchy, actually. And I will move you... What can we upgrade you to? A swordman. Except we don't have any extra iron, so never mind. You'll go to or Orléans. You're going to sit here for a turn. <clears throat> we'll upgrade you next turn. And then we'll send you over here to clear out the barbarian encampment. Reformation belief added to Islam. Okay, Morocco all of a sudden became scary. I was very happy about my, uh, about my overall score, and now I am less so. And rest here. Wittenberg. Ooh, more faith. So many religious places. All right, upgrade to a composite bowman. <clears throat> you to explore the coast. That is actually a lot of soldiers. Although, we can actually put our bowmen on this island and have them shoot across the sea. Which is very funny. Seeks investors. Yeah, we're a little shy on money. But now we have actual trading route partners, which means now in Orleans. Writer's Guild finished good. Go ahead and build a university. And we will need to get the universities everywhere very soon. But I think uh, what I'm going to do is get the cargo ships going on now and hope that we've got enough range to start reaching people because there'll be a lot of value in that. Uh, fishing boat. <clears throat> we've already got one fishing boat set up here. So I think what I'm going to do is set up... That is not the fishing boat. That's the warrior. Like, since when can a fishing boat move on land? What is this sorcery? Archer, stay put. Sripada. Increased happiness. If worked, food and faith. <clears throat> Too happen if it's, if it's within our borders. Really? Two bonus happiness just for having it inside of our borders? If there's any good stuff over here, it'll be... Uh, very tempting, actually. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? I would be. I don't need open borders with you yet. Well, we're getting some ships over there, potentially. I beg your pardon? Yeah, no, just give me more money. It's fine. <clears throat> we'll take the cash. Mm-hmm. I've got the really weird, one-sided, open borders thing. It's going to be totally out of sync for the rest of the game. You know, we don't need it yet. Uh, although we did just get a missionary, as I say that. Um, we're going to go to the old first. 
Then we're going to get more ivory, see if we can't set up more trades. Well, that's not too bad. Man, it just keeps going and going. We've actually got a real island chain. That's one of the things Continents Plus does, is it creates these island chains. Um, which, that actually does mean that you don't need astronomy quite as badly, because... Okay, it's lying about a unit. Oh, it's doing the animation for the fishing boats. God, that is such a pain in the ass. That you have to wait for these non-existent animations to finish so that you can skip to the next turn. It's the little things about Civ Five that drive me absolutely bonkers. Guilds. All right. So we can do our artist guild. All right. Wonderful. Nice. All that kind of stuff. We meet a Kizil? Kizil? Like, buy a vowel, dude. What's going on? We're the first people to meet them. They are cultured. They have whales. We already have whales, though, so it's a little less tempting. Um, they'll probably attack us, but we might actually kill them, so... I don't know. I think the units will fight back as a ship like that. Uh, we don't need to upgrade you, just fortify for now. Uh, yeah, we, we have iron. Oh, because that deal finished. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, let's pop over here. M Mabanza Congo. Militaristic horses and whales. Another barbarian encampment. Right, I can't, actually should land and pick up the ruins first, and then maybe hop off, go to the island. 22 happiness. Holy cow. I don't have void growth anywhere, do I? That would be very bad right now. <clears throat> it does mean we're in a really good position to uh, expand, and I still think I would like to grab the territory over here. Um, yeah, no void growth. Good. Shows production. Lighthouse done. That's good. We could build a cargo ship here as well. I still feel like I need more military units. I would like to expand. I want to build all the things. We need to get the university stuff going on pretty quickly. Honestly, it may be that we want to prioritize getting the, the universities up everywhere because the tech boost is pretty substantial. But I really do want to grab this spot. We have so much happiness. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Um... You know what, hold on. Let's finish universities everywhere, get our wonder, and then expand. Worst case scenario, even if we lose this spot, we can go and grab the uh, the magic happy place over here. It's not going to be a very good city spot, though. <clears throat> Honestly, it's very much not good. Well, then we can go into military production, just take the cities by force. Hey, that works, too. We can just have them be puppets, which would actually be totally fine. Okay, let's do the university thing. Because I hear technology is pretty good in these games. Even though the way I play, you wouldn't think that I knew that. Some days. Oh, I'm out of moves. Alhambra, that's okay. That was not on our list of things that we would like. Kuala Lumpur no longer seeks investors, but that's okay. We are very good and uh, allied with them. So... Oh yeah, we still need to do the harbor thing, but I don't think I'm going to rush down here at any at this point. They're all nice. They're all nice, and finishing this will give us all the hidden antiquity site, which will be quite nice. But we are going to go for... Uh, ooh, I should actually go to the fine arts here, because we have a lot of happiness, so that will produce a lot of extra culture for us. Yes, that would be very nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bananas are online. <clears throat> and this place is going to have a fairly decent amount of food, I think. So where... It's only has, it only has sugar here, which means we'll be able to build a chateau right there. And that's it. Bananas don't count as a luxury resource, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, trading post. <clears throat> if we can get them online, finally then we can start to get enough money to throw a lot of bribes towards the city-states, which will be nice. Uh, hammers to Orleans is actually quite nice, but I think we're going to continue this trade route, both for the science and the gold. So again, we can throw some more bribes to different places. Ah, 20 culture. Not quite as valuable now as at the start of the game, but still nice. We'll certainly take it.
Boom. Good. Under attack by barbarians, huh? Well, I think it's hardly being attacked that much. Oh, it actually didn't get attacked here. I guess the composite bowmen are actually pretty good compared to the brute. Let's go ahead and range attack them down. I guess we won't have to do the, the silly island stuff after all. Yeah. All right, missionary. We are going to move you close to uh, to Asur, and then when we get there, we'll have to do some sort of open borders thing with them. All right, university done. Very good. We have still lots of happiness. I think you know, temples for faith is actually pretty good. Artist guild pretty valuable. Now you know probably should do that, but I'm still worried about the military situation. What I'm thinking of doing, since I'm still thinking that um, musketeers would be our primary form of attack if anything happens, I could just build a couple of trebuchets in preparation for something that might happen. Still. We're good friends with these guys. We're pretty well isolated. No, we're fine. We can, we can buy a bit more time. Uh, let's get the artist guild going. Cargo ship is done. Okay, before I build anything else, where can we cargo ship to? Very good. Alright, let's send something out to La Venta and see if we can get them flipped to our uh, to our religion. More religion pressure is good. And, um, yes, get the university, and then we'll probably build the other trader out after that. Because then we can get... Ooh, actually, pretty good timing. Try to get all your university set up build Oxford, and then we'll expand. Uh-oh. Well, again, it's okay. If they take this territory, it just means we're going to go to war against Assyria. Because I can't... I need to grow some amount. Alright, listen, scout guy. You're very quickly running out of use for me. A spy's been recruited. Hey! Someone entered the Renaissance era. Hmm. Before us. So... I think that we are going to spy on England, because I think, I can't remember why I'm thinking this, but I feel like they may have been going down a slightly different tech route than we were. Um, I think that's, yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, spy. We don't really have the tourism thing going on right now, so we don't have to do the diplomat stuff. Mm -hmm. Where are we going to send you? Actually, it would be nice to sort of recharge you, so that you, uh, you get your your health back, but I'm not sure where we're going to go. I guess we're going to send you down way over here. And Mr. Scout Guy, we will actually go and see if we can't drop off over in this part of the continent. Let me actually go to right there. We'll see if there's any barbarians left there. You keep blowing people up. Good stuff. A little bit more experience points will certainly be nice. Desires dies. Well, I'm not sure what we can do about that hook up some extra horses. Hope he's just peeking around. Research agreement. Yes, actually I should have been shopping around for that at some point. He also has citrus. Uh, and I'm not sure we have anything to offer him for that, but it's possible that one of our people wants citrus. Morocco, I want your lemons. Mmm, you don't need anything that I've got. Well, that's too bad. Hmm, I don't think I want to just pay for it. I don't need the happiness that bad. Although, yeah, citrus. Yeah, long, lo long live the king would actually be really nice. I don't think it's that critical, though. Ugh, of course they spawn a new unit right as the last one dies. Typical. Oh, we know what we do want. Open borders over here. And you'll give me some money for it. That's fine. I actually don't want the iron right now. Um, I'm totally okay with something like this. I don't suppose we could get like a second gold per turn, though, could we? No. Alright. Let's do it.
Spread the love of fine cuisine. Set up another pasture. We might actually need an extra um, worker as soon as we get the chivalry. Great writer. Okay, excellent. I'm going to go here just to see how far we can see. And bump over next to here. Spread religion. And we are... The political treaties is nice in that we could get, you know, another culture boost. It'll get us uh, another third of the way to our next policy. But I definitely think creating the great work will be the best idea. <clears throat> I reckon I got a light out hey, hey, Mark Twain. So, nope, not here. We want to go here. We don't have enough pieces of writing to get any sort of combo whatsoever. I will, like, preemptively go and stick it in the great library here because we'd like to get our theming bonus going. We're now producing a whopping four tourism per turn. Look at that. We're well on our way to win, right? Um, did we have a wonder at this point queued up? No. Again, Ironworks is just a, uh, it's a national wonder, so it doesn't count. Boo-doo-boo. Elizabeth is plotting against someone. Well, that's really helpful. I think I want the ironworks as quickly as possible. Because it's awesome. And certainly we'll have it in our main place for building, you know, wonders and such. Mm hmm. Yeah, same thing. We might... Oh, I can also build uh, lumber mills, I think, but that's okay. No, build another trading post, that's okay. Blow him up. Good. And then we'll try to take that hill ourselves. And we could set up a bunch of little cities in these islands, but I don't think the value is very, very high there. I'm actually going to send this trireme home to repair itself, or we're going to sit in place so that we can blow up this guy. Which we should be able to do pretty easily. I could have finished him, but I think this is going to be fine. Finish him. Oh, and a new one popped out. Choose production, you know, we finished the university. Good stuff, well done. Um, you actually could use a little bit more cultural pressure over here, which would be very nice. Uh, oh, we finished the university. Um, one turn here. Okay, we can't do the settler thing yet. Although I could start building it. Six turns. No, it's going to take five for that. Never mind. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a barracks here. We're going to. This is going to be our primary military production hub. Because uh, what I can do is I can follow up this barracks with, say, one military unit to help defend uh, whatever new city we found here, and then build a settler. And then that should time out pretty nicely with finishing Oxford over here. Okay. Alhambra. There's a great board game called Alhambra. Very fun. Very easy to play. University is done. I think what I'm going to do is build the second cargo ship here. I think that would have the greatest value. Uh, and we can send it to Kuala Lumpur, which would be great. We can do a promotion here. I mostly just want the bonus against naval units. And then, yeah, I will send you... I'll actually send you into Orleans to uh, repair yourself. Barrage promotion. Beat up that guy. Public decoration from Syria. Oh, yes, protecting people. I could say that sort of thing just to get... I think it, it gives you a different standing point. Here, we'll pledge to protect these guys. I think it's a pretty safe thing to do most of the time. This is a cultural one. Pledge to protect. Good. And yes, we can start building our chateaus. Okay. So, it's kind of funny. They have to be built adjacent to a luxury resource, and they can't be adjacent to another chateau. So there's actually something to be said about giving a little bit of thought about where you're putting things. Um, now, for this one, it doesn't really matter, because I could put it... If I put it here then I can't really put it in any of these adjacent places. Now for Paris, Paris will only be able to work these two tiles anyway. So the fact that if I build it here, I can't build a chateau here doesn't matter as much because Paris can't work it. Although if I want to build a city over here at any point, then it would mean one less chateau. Um, still, 
I am here, I may as well build it. And get that started. And they're fantastic, they give culture and gold. They're great. Oh yes, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which we are going to rush in Lyon, I think. Clear at the Barbarian Encampment. Plus one gold, plus two culture. And later on, the airports and hotels and things sh will impact chateaus, which is great. In fact, they explicitly say that they work on chateaus. Which makes me very happy. I like clarity. So, now there was another barbarian encampment. Who was having trouble with them? Was it Wurttemberg? Defeat barbarians? Yeah. Lumber mill. And repair. And let's go and take a peek at these barbarians. Might be able to do something about that for you. One turn. Most progressive people. Look at this! Social policies, I thought, you know, I was ahead, but apparently I'm nowhere, nowhere close to being ahead. Oxford University, definitely building it in Paris because it's got slots for works. And we are going to create another great art. Adrian Carpenter. Carpentier? I don't know if he's uh, French or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got no no opportunity for a theming bonus yet, so we can leave that there just fine. We really need another uh, writing thing so we can complete a theme. So you finish the barracks. Oh yes, that was my plan. Build one military unit. Possibly a crossbowman, actually. Would be a very good pick at this point. Five turns to Oxford. Actually, we could just get the settler out right away. Okay, that'll be fine. In fact, the settler won't even finish before we finish Oxford. And the only question was if we could place it in time. Yeah, I'm going to feel pretty happy about that. Uh, we do have sugar, but we don't have gems yet. And the second sugar will allow us to trade things off. Okay, we built the second cargo ship. Wonderful. And I think we're just going to go back to uh, building buildings. Bonus gold from City Connections. Actually... Let's build Machu Picchu, or at least we'll try to build Machu Picchu. This will be the wonder for Orleans. Um, there's lots of things we want, but we do want a wonder here. Let's do that, and can we put you on production focus? Would it make a difference? Come on, click. Shaves one turn off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it, although let me consult my little file here. Do I have any records of when Machu Picchu gets built? No. I haven't, I've only started doing this recently, so I don't know when Machu Picchu is likely to get constructed next. That's too bad. When, when in Tech Tree do we get it? That's one of the questions. I don't even know. Uh, help. Wonders. Machu Picchu. It does have to be built next to a mountain, which is actually a bit of a problem. You get it with guilds. Now, guilds is not the oldest thing in the book, right? We only unlocked it recently, but we might be able to build it just because the AI, I mean, it's not the AI, just because a lot of places will not be within two tiles of a mountain. I guess we'll give it a shot. If we fail, it'll be money to flip one of the city-states or something like that. All right. Free grade artists, good, but I think what we want right now is the cultural centers, uh, because we're going to be building some more amphitheaters and so on and so forth, and building them 50% cheaper is better. We don't need to rush out the great artists quite as much, even though that means a little bit more tourism a little faster. I think the cultural centers is the better pick right now. Cargo ship, established trade route. Yes, we're going to go to Kuala Lumpur, get the religious pressure out, which will be beautiful. Trireme has been fully repaired, which is very nice, and... Um, why don't you swing over here? So I could have moved the uh, the great the great engineer, and I could have rush bought that, especially since I'll probably be ahead of the curve for the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Damn. Actually, I kind of like that idea. Stop the construction and just rush it. What's the benefit of Machu Picchu? Just static faith. More gold from city connections, which is actually quite nice. 
you know what? That's fine. Um, let me build out something quickly here. Sure, a granary would be fine. Three turns, is that exactly how long it takes? No. Maybe four turns and then a fifth. So you know what? Build me a market. And then we'll do the Machu Picchu thing. Missionary's been purchased. And we're working on it. We'll see what we can get. Shaka declares war on Assyria again. All right. Himeji Castle's been built somewhere. That's fine. We lost some deals. Can we get our deals back? You have a lot of cotton. I have a lot of ivory. Why are you jerk ass? We still have open borders over here, so let's go and spread to Nineveh before uh, before all is lost once again. But I don't know. I keep saying that, and they've they've held on to what cities, you know, the three cities here. Although look at Nimrud, it's getting huge. Shaka, how? No, you're not that dangerous. You're probably behind on tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but can you throw in cotton instead? No. Why? Hang on. Let me try reshuffle the deal around, although I forgot that now I have to wait. It is the newspaper's duty to print the news. Okay, Renaissance, Golden Age. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I can... You don't have any money. Fine, open borders and all your gold per turn. Okay. And then we'll actually send the missionary into his territory, specifically. Ooh, that is very dangerous. That is very dangerous, actually. <clears throat> and a new tech! Honestly, it might be time to fill in the gap over here. Compass, astronomy. But architecture unlocks uh, Taj Mahal, which is nice. The porcelain tower... No, we can't build that. Oh, the Uffizi, which we definitely want, but we don't necessarily need to rush to. Uh, I don't know how, who else has got aesthetics, honestly, but that's a lot of slots. I think, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pick up gunpowder at this point. It's time to at least have it available as an option. Singapore! There are a lot of barbarians around. Probably going to lose this guy to this horseman, but maybe not. Okay, I really want a bilateral open borders, to be honest. That being said, I'm happy to, like, sell you the horses for... Tell you what, let me save one horse. Oops. Just in case. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Singapore wants investors. I do have money. We can start looking into this soon. Free tech. Oh, for completing Oxford. Yes, very nice. Um, we do want... We do want the stuff in acoustics. Yeah, I think we'll pick up acoustics. I mean, I don't know how much we're going to rush to complete all these buildings, but it'll be nice to have it as an option. Okay, speaking of things we can rush and build, wow, one turn each for these things. Ridiculous. But we want things with work of art slots. We get the writer, which is good. 25% more culture in all cities. and two slots. So we're gonna go for it. And a nice long golden age at that. Okay, you are going to build me a few military units. Um, a couple of crossbowmen. So we've got some ranged units going on. You can land over here and we'll see how many barbarians we run into at this point. You're gonna come over here and build me a chateau. Now, here, right, okay, 
We could tear up... Well, no, we don't want to do that. We can go Chateau here. And if we get this tile, we can build one there. And then one there. So, this is a good place for one, regardless. Okay, I like it. Um... Jeez. I may as well take the shot. Hope they can't kill me on their turn. Okay, where exactly are we going to settle? We're not going to settle where the guy is. He's standing on bananas. I think this is actually the most reasonable spot. Um, one, two, three. Gets the sugar eventually. Well, or here. Actually, this might be vaguely better. Actually, it's probably pretty much the same, except this kind of gets us to more sugar a little bit faster. This really gives us no immediate benefit, other than it doesn't need a pop to work the fish, but that's pretty low priority. Going over here makes a little sense. Going here makes no sense. I definitely want it to be coastal. I think I like this spot right here. And you know what I'm going to do? Actually. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade this unit to a bowman, and then probably to crossbow, and then I'm going to stick him on this hill to give us good vision. Whoa! Wait, double? Oh, geez, look at that. I really should pull the archer off of there. Actually, let's bring the scout back. Scout! Get over here. How do we discover Singapore? Go and grab this one. Uh, yes, that's very good. Also, you have some great stuff like wine. Can we get wine? Okay, the bowman hasn't died, which is good. Seriously, Morocco, you got all the good things. And citrus, which we really... Okay, you know what? Let's, let's... What do you want for the citrus? It's the last gems. That's no good. I'll tell you what, we'll give you some money. Ouch! That's way too much money. Yeah, we definitely need to get a double up on something. Okay, now we can pull back and heal. We can't heal at sea, if I recall correctly. So we're going to have to get onto the little island here, heal. But at least they're going to stay damaged, which is good. Zanzibar! Oh, you have a lot of good stuff. We should definitely be friends with you. Um, right, the chateau. We'll get rid of the jungle, which is less than ideal. Hold on. I forgot about that. Cancel. Because we do have the university, so it means it gives us beakers. All of a sudden, that becomes kind of a harder decision. Okay, uh, James, just wait one turn. Composite bowman. Upgrade into crossbowman. Crossbow man. Crossbow person. I mean, let's be PC about it. Spread them religions. It's really not auto-spreading on its own very effectively, is it? Okay, they do have some followers here. All right, it'll become better and better over time. We don't have anything that increases our religious pressure, which I think is part of the issue there. But it would have been nice for it to auto-spread. Zanzibar wants investors. Everyone wants investors. We're good on trade routes, yes. Okay, choose production. So here we are building Machu Picchu. And... Yeah, and I think that's fine. Good. Crossbow. Wonderful. You go and sit on that tile there to keep an eye on things. And we still have a missionary. Well, we'll see if we can't get open borders. <laughs> there must be military units over here. Alright. Now, we can build a trading post on top of this, which would not take down the jungle. Two beakers is really, really, really valuable. As much as the whole chateau strategy is good, the two extra culture I don't think is worth it right now. We'll go ahead and just build a trading post. Fine, fine, fine. So many little island chains. Really could just automate this guy now. Machu Picchu. All right, and a great writer. Can we get open borders? Do we already have? 
Oh, is it? I just couldn't get in there because you had units in the way? Oh, all right. All right, that's fine. Machu Picchu finished. Good, so you don't have to worry about wonders anymore, which means you can actually go and fill in a bunch of gaps that you're missing here. For example, a granary. A bunch of one-turn constructions. Finish a great work. So we should be able to get a theming bonus here. Now, what we need is different eras, different civilizations. We have medieval and we have renaissance, both French. So what we need to do is swap. So everyone's offering up medieval. So what we will do is we will trade away our our medieval for one of theirs. It doesn't really matter who we get. It should all be pretty much the same. Tell you what, let's grab Assyria's. So then we will have an Assyrian medieval and a French renaissance writing and we'll complete that set bonus. Bam. All right, and that should be getting amplified in Paris. Is it not? Is that not a thing? Hmm. Pretty sure that's the thing. I'll have to double check that I'm not dreaming. I'm not getting confused with another sieve. I'm just surprised it's not listed very, very vis visibly and obviously. Oh yeah, I could upgrade this guy to a crossbow if I got him into friendly territory. The Behringer Crater. Oh, plus one happiness just, just for cuz. Just because we discovered it. Okay, I think it's time to automate this guy. Wow, this city-state gets like all the good stuff. Alright. Chateau me. Boom. Uh, choose production. So, probably actually a workshop, because I want him to build lots and lots and lots of buildings, so we may as well get him to build a little bit faster. The alternative would be more growth type things. English spy stole the secrets of physics from Paris. Son of a bitch. Might want a defensive spy. Actually, no, we are gathering intelligence, so hopefully we can get something back from them. City state, we got that. Great person, yes, which we already popped. Laventa, oh yes. Oh, we're almost losing our alliance. Do you have a quest for me? Oh, it dies, yeah, well. Hmm. I haven't checked to see if the English wanted to trade anything for a while, but I think the problem is we don't have a double up on anything. We could sell them horses. But they're not Russia, they're not going to want horses that much. Okay, peace already, and he's holding off. All right, well, it's good, I suppose. Just keep surprising me. Spread the love. We're gonna bring fine cuisine to you. Oh, I can't go through there. Okay, you know what? You'd be on auto explore. I don't want to mess with you anymore. Granary is done, and you have a wonder, which is wonderful. And yeah, you're just building stuff here. Um, we have lots of happiness still, so we don't need to rush here. Let's go and get the amphitheater going on, get the culture things going. Ormus. Maritime, so that's more food. And can give us furs, which is certainly nice. We've got enough money to actually, like, spend on someone. Let's take a look. Lots of people. We probably want to prioritize cultured. Um, because it really does fit in, generally speaking, with what we're trying to pull off. And we really could use more social policies, because they're fun. But everything is actually not too bad. Oh, and now Kaisel, I believe, just has whales. So we don't want any more whales. Religion's not bad either. Everything is fine. I mean, we could use some free military units from, uh, the, uh, from the militaristic ones. We don't really need happiness from mercantile, though. So you know what I think we're going to do is... Military units here. As I say, one of the religious ones. Okay, well, we'll do Laventa. They have silver. Oh, and they just have more whales. Okay, so Laventa it is. Oh, but they don't have a quest. Some of them. So they have a quest, but I don't need whales. I don't need whales. They have a quest for money. They would give me fur and por porcelain. Yeah, so you get more happiness overall. And you know what? We are converting happiness to bonus culture, plus, you know, golden ages and stuff. Um, you know, I don't have to rush this. I can keep the money in case of emergency for now. We'll, we'll get back to you. 
we'll get back to you. Um, we'll refrain from settling near you in the future. Really? You're whining about that? Actually, what I should do is rush by some tiles, but... He must have, like, th wanted to sort of colonize over here. Because it's not close to his border. And I'm worried about him plopping a city right down in between us and stealing some stuff. So, with that in mind... I'm going to do this kind of in bulk, actually. And I'm going to grab that hill. It's spending a lot of money. It's probably spending too much money. Okay, it's fine. I got the sugar, and I've got a little bit more territory. If he does settle there, we're going to have a good view. He's probably going to be cranky about us spending the money to buy tiles, but that's okay. Brussels. Cultured, friendly, furs. Okay. Another barbarian encampment way up here. Obviously, we've got to make friends with Brussels because they belong to France, right? Nah. Every time I make that joke, someone in the comments is like, Oh my god, Brussels is not French. Which, which it totally is. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Why you make up such lies. Um, Crossman, yes, and I was thinking more military units here. On the other hand, it would be nice to get a few more culture pops over here, and I probably should just produce more culture in general. I should do lots of things. Oh, Lyon still needs a uh, wonder. Oh, you were supposed to build... Yeah, I want the uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. So you know what? We're going to dedicate the time to build it. It'll be a slow build, but you have... Right, no production. That was the idea. We could produce things at a decent rate here and not other places. And you can go back to default focus. And Lyon, you can try production focus. Yeah, a couple of turns off. Um, I'm not sure what else we're going to do to speed things up. But I don't think we're at a risk of losing the Leaning Tower. I hope not. And you, Crosswoman, can just sit tight in this city for now. And we really have to put a cut in this video. So we will see you guys next time.